the world? What is up? Jem here, and it is so great to have you here today. If you're just joining my channel, I am all about food, beverages, and sharing just fun things in life like conferences, conventions, dance dance revolution. Well, today's recipe comes from a request. It is a caramel sauce. Easy to ruin, but uh, don't let that stop you. I know you can do it. So before we get into that, I need to get an oil change for my car this morning. So let's go ahead, head out there, and then we'll come back and make up some awesome caramel sauce. And I've got a surprise for you. I hear the dealer has something special. Let's get to it. <laughs> Well, hello and good morning. I am here at the Riker Hyundai. I figured I'd come in bright and early for a, a oil change for my car. It is 8 a.m. and they were more busy than usual. But uh, while the car is getting an oil change, figured I'd check out some of the other beautiful Hyundais. This is where my car came from. So um, figured we'd look. My wife's probably gonna get a Hyundai as well. We've been loving it. And uh, I hear that they might have the Iron Man Edition Kona on the showroom floor so i'm gonna go ahead in there take a look and if they do i'll get some video for you it is a beautiful car so uh, i guess i will see you then So I've just driven home and you know what, I'm not really even that much into cars, but that Iron Man Kona <laughs> was amazing. It's probably the first car that's ever made me think about financing a car. Uh, I've always paid for cars with cash, saved up for them and paid as soon as I can, but man that was beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous. I sat down in it, got to see it start up, got to see the light as the door opens shine on the ground. Just some amazing features and uh, whew, it's beautiful. But uh, we're going to get back into what we actually planned on doing today. But thanks for coming along with me. Well, it is time to enter the kitchen. Now, my wife has done many great things when it comes to desserts, but caramel sauce is something that she just can't seem to get right. So today, I am going to attempt it, and uh, I figured why not do it on camera, see how it turns out. So full disclosure, I don't make caramel sauce often. I haven't done it for a couple years, but we'll see. But first, the lighting's a little off. Let's get a little more caramel in here. There we go, that's much better. Now, you'll see the ingredients are pretty straightforward, and we just need these four things, plus measuring cups, and uh, for those of you that have watched my vlog before, you may have seen this little R2-D2 in the background. He is actually measuring cups and spoons. <laughs> so I'm going to be making a smaller batch today so that we can make it in this smaller saucepan and you'll be able to see it happening a little better. So we need a cup of sugar and however much sugar you start with, use about a third cup of heavy cream and then a fourth of that in butter, which I've got a fourth stick of butter, or a half stick of butter right here, which is a fourth cup. And uh, I've got some measuring spoons here on R2-D2's legs. Uh, I'll have a link down below if you're interested in checking out this guy or picking up one for yourself. I, uh, I always love it. Now the first thing we're going to do is measure out our uh, heavy whipping cream. And the reason for that is you don't want to be putting heavy whipping cream directly into the hot caramel. It's not going to end as well for you. So I mentioned we want a third of what we have in heavy whipping cream. So all I'm going to do is pour it out and let it sit on the counter. We're not going to touch it until long after our caramel has become a nice amber color. I'll toss that back in the fridge a little bit later. Um, so what we're going to start with is our cup of sugar. Go ahead and measure that out. I'll just do it over the pan for ease. Doesn't matter if a little bit of that spills. Doesn't have to be exact. Woo. 
There we go. And I'll turn that on and we'll get going. <laughs> so we're gonna do this at about a medium high temperature. Put our sugar all in there. Let it start going. I'm going to subscribe to the non-stirring method. I think uh, that sounds like a good way to go. I've seen some people do it where they just constantly stir the whole time. Uh, that one seems to work better maybe if you're using condensed milk, maybe a little bit of water in there. Uh, but I'm going to attempt this. Also, I don't want to be constantly stirring the whole time. That sounds like it could take a little while. So uh, let's give this a try. See how it turns out. Now while that's going, I'm actually going to get my heavy whipping cream back because I plan on using this caramel sauce on either ice creams or maybe, uh, I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I might make a frappuccino, throw some whipped cream on there and some caramel sauce. And so for the whipped cream, I'm going to make a recipe I've shared before in my sweet crepes video, which uses heavy whipping cream and we just whisk that up as well as put in some powdered sugar and vanilla. <laughs> so this seems a little bit burnt, so I turned down the heat to more of a medium low heat and I'm going to go at stirring it just a tiny bit. I just I can't resist it. Just some of these big clumps of sugar. Um, that aren't really cooking down into it. We'll see how that works. I feel like that's going to be more appropriate. Actually, oh my gosh, it's there. I think it's done. All right, so we wanna turn off the heat as soon as we get to the point where all the sugars cook into it. And uh, what we're gonna do is take this off of the burner completely and then throw in our butter, or our cream first. <laughs> So I'm going to grab this whisk and go ahead and put the warmer cream into it. Hopefully it's not too cold still. And we're just going to stir around as we do that. Woo! I'm going to go a little slow because it will react strongly to it. And this is part of the part where you want it to be warmer. If it's too cold, uh, it's going to have an even stronger reaction that might be a little harsh. Um, might kind of get it to clump up more so than make a good caramel sauce. Um, Oh my goodness, this might actually work out. So I've got all my cream in there, taking it off the burner. I'm not letting any clumps form. I'm going to get the butter in there uh, for the sake of speed, just blop butter. And uh, something else is you may have realized by now I love adding vanilla to everything. So we're actually going to add a tiny bit of vanilla to this too. Probably the equivalent of a teaspoon or two. Not a lot. So come on, vanilla. Do, 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 do. Yes. Mix that into there. I think that's gonna be nice. It is a little dark, but I think it's mostly cooled down. It doesn't actually smell burnt. It smells like a really good caramel sauce. <laughs> okay and give it a try. Um, one thing to note about this, it's probably extremely hot, so be very careful. It's actually really good. I did, so I let it get a little too dark. So I think next time I make it, I'm gonna make it on a lower heat and maybe use a little bit less sugar or a pan that's a little wider. Uh, because it does take a, taste a little darker, a little bit on the burnt side. Wait, no! Ugh! <laughs> this did not turn out well. Uh, as it cooled, it burnt even more. Even in here, I don't even know how that's possible. So instead of leaving you with this, because I cannot leave you with this recipe, I'm going to try again. What I'm gonna do is use half as much sugar We'll just get it going here. Medium low heat on a larger burner. Um, and then I've still got my heavy whipping cream coming out to more of a room temperature. So I'm gonna give this a try. We'll see if it turns out any better than the last time and hopefully I've got a better recipe for you. Let's give it a try. Now I'm sure this is extremely hot, but uh, we'll just blow on it a little. 
Better than the first time, but still not a great caramel. <laughs> I want to try again, but I actually need to make some dinner tonight. I'm going to make up some Asian chicken uh, with some noodles, udon noodles. But uh, thanks for joining me today. Let me know if you've got a better way to make caramel. Well, hello again. I did not want to leave you without a recipe that worked. So I'm going to take three here, uh, try it again, and hopefully I can get something that works here. So I'm going to use a half cup of sugar, not as much as the last time. I just turned on my burner before starting this. I'm going to use a tiny bit of water this time. That's right. Uh, see if that helps us out a little bit. And I'll stir it as we go. I know I said I didn't want to stir, but I'm going to try something different. I thought last time I made this, I did it successfully without stirring, but apparently not. So at this stage, it has kind of gone from the slightly liquidy sugar back to a drier sugar, but it kind of looks a little crystallized, a little chunky. Um, not sure if that's going to work out well for us. I'm going to go back to stirring a little bit here and we'll see. Alright, so it's starting to look a little brown. You want to take it off before it looks too brown. Um, caramel can get way too dark way too fast. You got to keep an eye on it. But uh, I think this one's way better. The only thing I'm mainly worried about here is crystallization. Uh, we'll see if those bigger chunks melted down like I hope they did. I think they did. It was looking good. Look at that color. Let's add in a little butter chip too much over here. So I'm going to scrap this. Good chunk of butter. Wow. Now, as I said last time, I'm going to do this again without even trying it. Why? Because it's fun. And I love vanilla. I just, you can't go wrong with it, right? <laughs> All right, so I've started in. I'm gonna try a little bit from my whisk here. That's it! We've got caramel. Ah, yes! I don't know if this one time was a fluke or if this is the recipe for you. This is definitely what I'm gonna do next time. So what I ended up doing is using half a cup of sugar in the pan when it was um, starting to heat up to a medium high heat. Then I just whisked that around with a tiny bit of water, maybe a tablespoon, maybe two. I didn't really measure it. And uh, started whisking that around as the pan was getting hot. And uh, the sugar at first kind of started to melt down into that. And then it kind of formed some larger clumps. But I'd stir at least every 30 seconds. And so I didn't constantly stir, but kept with it. And then once it started to dry out some more, I let it kind of sit every now and then, but if it started to sit too long, I'd stir it a little bit more. And at the end of that, once it started to just start to form that brown amber color, pull it right off of that burner, uh, turn off the heat and uh, add in our, our room temperature heavy whipping cream. After that, I added in the butter and it's, it's phenomenal. Add a little vanilla extract. You can never go wrong with vanilla extract. Well, that is it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe to see more of my videos. If you want to watch something else I've done, you can see one right over here. And thanks for watching.